Hey chatters, I got a request to talk about custom instructions, which I feel like I should probably do considering for Professor Synapse, it's, you know, a lot easier if you use custom instructions. So let me walk you through how this works uh, so you better understand how you can use it. So we kind of have to start this conversation with uh, tokens. Tokens are how we think about words in the language of these models. So how this technology works is you have something called an encoder decoder. It just takes parts of words, changes them into numbers, puts them in a matrix for the computer to understand, throws them through these complex networks that are like black boxes, and then spits out the most probable numbers, which then gets retranslated back into the language. So when we talk about these tokens in large language models like GPT-4, we're really thinking about something called a context window. This is sort of like the working memory of the large language model, which has a limit. For ChatGPT, there's various models that have various token limits. You can see here the GPT-4 standard has about 8,000 tokens. When we go down, you can also have a 32,000 token option. Uh, and then um, in three, there's eight or 16K. So understand that when that's talking about uh, a max tokens, that's sort of what its me working memory is gonna be like. So just to get an idea of what tokens actually look like, uh, OpenAI thankfully has something called a tokenizer. And so if we say something like the cat sat on the mat, you can see here that although it's 22 characters, it, you know, it's six tokens. And this is actually split by word, which can happen, but it's also can do uh, parts of words. So let's do Professor Synapse is responsible uh, to humans. So see here, it's a little bit different. We have professors split up into a couple synapses. Um, and so you can see here, it's not always just a word, but a good kind of rule or way to follow is typically um, when you're thinking about the context window, you take that and you times it by 75%. You know, it's about three quarters uh, number of words is just like a general bar ballpark estimate. So why is this important uh, when it comes to custom instructions? So first, let's go through where to find it. So if you go to your name right here, and you'll see it should be right there, and you should have the access to this in both the free and the paid version. And you bring it up and you should see two boxes like this. Uh, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? How would you like ChatGPT to respond? So you could put anything in here. These are guides. It doesn't really matter what you put in here. Like, I mean, I guess to some extent, this is how I want ChatGPT to respond. But, you know, you see here, I have the Professor Synapse prompt just in here. I have a little bit about myself to give context, but you don't need to do that. Really, all this is, is something called a system prompt. Now, how a system prompt works, or maybe it's better to understand generally how this conversation looks to ChatGPT. So let's start there. So here you see that I have, uh, I'm, I'm doing an instance of Professor Synapse. I want to create like an ad for this new service we're providing to create chatbots. So we do start and it's starting how it typically does. And I'm telling him all these things. So how you want to visualize this is that the system prompt, the custom instruction always comes at the very top of what you're sending to ChatGPT. And then each time you send something, it is sending the entire conversation so far to the API and it's spitting back based on that entire conversation. This is how that memory and context window works. It's not that you're continuing the conversation like you normally would, it's that you're sending something and then ChatGPT responds and then that's something you sent and ChatGPT's response and then your next response gets sent back to ChatGPT and so on and so forth. So you can see that the conversation is gonna to start to extend and extend and extend, and then it's gonna hit that limit, right? That 8,000 token limit or whatever it might be. And that's where things get a little iffy. 
especially if you don't have a system prompt. Because now what it's starting to do is just taking as much as it can from the information you're sending and trying to pick out what it should be responding. It's like trying to remember, you know, uh, seven to nine different things at a time while, you know, rubbing your head and patting your belly. It's really difficult to do all these things at once. And as it has to take in more information, it becomes harder for it to actually, you know, remain consistent. So this is why a system prompt can be very, very important because no matter what, that gets sent and then the rest of the conversation gets sent.